Hey guys, welcome into Amanda's Favorites. If you don't know, Southworth is a paper company that has been around for 150 years. This is amazing paper, y'all, in a portable, functional, and really aesthetically pleasing planner. Southworth also sells other products. They sent me this cute coffee mug and this cute little pin bag. I'm gonna link up the Southworth website down below because that website will let you click on any of their products and then it will show you down below what store that product is sold at, which I think is so helpful to be able to have a planner in your hands. So many of their products are sold at Staples, FedEx office, and some are even sold on Amazon. I will link up their Amazon page down below too, because I know how much we all love to shop there. This planner is seven by 9.25 inches on your cover size. It is a 2025 planner. We're gonna take off the belly band so we can see the whole cover. This one has a little bit different color scheme in it than the last planner I shared of there. So if you haven't checked out the last planner I shared, it was a different one and I will link that review down in the description. Look at all that gold foiling in these rainbows. This planner has an amazing paper and these planners are at very affordable prices. They come with a band on them, cute, Inside cover pages too, and your band matches the color of your tabs. Let's jump into this cute little portable planner. You have a nameplate page, and then you have a page that shows you an example of using kind of their monthly layout. They have this two page monthly spread for reflection and looking ahead before every monthly layout. Then you have your holidays for 2025 and 2026. You have a yearly overview for all of 2025 and all of 2026. And the shading in there helps you just to be able to differentiate between the months. Now going into your checking in page, this has the same boxes and prompts, but the decorations in this planner are different from the bigger planner that I shared with you guys in my other review video. This is a cute little like bubble motif. The colors are very light and airy, and even though it all has that pinkish hue, I feel like it's very neutral and you could add in whatever you want to every month too. So before every monthly layout, your monthly layout is tabbed with these nice laminated tabs. Before that, for every month, you have a checking in page and then a page labeled for that month. Your checking in page says this month's goals and you have a nice lined space to write out your goals for that month. You have a top priorities for the month. It could be projects for the month. You have an I am feeling box and an I am grateful for box. I personally would fill out these two boxes as the month was going on because I would like to look back and see how I was feeling that month and what I was grateful for. My monthly affirmation is you could use that for an affirmation or you could use it for a quote or anything that you want to put there. I am inspired by, so something that is inspiring you that month or possibly making you happy. My motivation is, what is motivating you that month to take care of the projects, the people in your life, and yourself? And then notes to self could be journaling throughout the month. It could just be notes you need to make. You could be on an important phone call and need somewhere to jot down notes and you would easily be able to find it with the monthly tab. Your monthly layout is a typical Sunday start. You have the little rainbow motif going throughout this planner and you have every other week shaded. You have your holidays down at the bottom of each day. You have your coming in days and your exiting days of the month in a very light gray. And you have your previous month and your next month at a glance. You have a little note section and a little header section, but I like the way they didn't make a huge header section. So your boxes are really amply spaced. This planner, like I said, is seven by 9.25 inches. That is the cover. So your pages are actually like nine inches by six inches for the page. That's not counting the tabs. After your monthly layout, you go straight into your weekly layout, which is your typical Monday start on a week. Every other day is shaded. Your Monday through Thursday is on the left and your Friday through Sunday is on the right. And then you have a little section at the bottom labeled noteworthy with the month that you're in at a glance down there. You have six lines per day and your holidays are noted down there at the bottom of the day. And you have this cute little decorative effect at the top of every page. I really like the fonts that they've used too. This planner has 105 GSM paper, you guys which is 70 pound. I have not confirmed the price of this planner yet, but the bigger planner is 19 dollars 
So I can only imagine that this one will be a little bit less. My guess is like $17.99 or it could be $19.99 too. Either way, for the quality of this planner, the design of it, I really feel like that is a bargain price. This particular planner can be found at Staples. So like I said, you go to their website and you can look through all their products. I will link Southworth's website down below. And when you go to a product, you scroll down and it will show you what store that product is available in because their different products are available in different stores. So this smaller planner is available in Staples. So you can actually go into a Staples store, see it and feel it before you purchase it, which I think is really helpful with a planner. I've done some writing here, but let me do my full pen test. All right, here's a good look at some really inky pens, a really inky fountain pen, Erin Condren dual tip marker, you guys, a very dark mild liner, Papermate flare and red, all of these very inky pens. And if you turn the page, and this is on a section that is white on the back instead of the shaded, you can see the tiniest bit of ghosting, but absolutely nothing bleeding through. Their papers are fade proof and bleed proof. Like I said, first and foremost, they are a paper company that's been doing paper for 150 years. So let's talk about the feel of this paper. It is a very thick, luxurious feeling paper and it has some tooth to it you guys I personally love that I know paper has a lot to do with personal preference but this paper feels absolutely beautiful to me in hand and to write on I love the way that it took all the pens this planner being that it's horizontal would also make a great little journal just you know every day you might use it as a gratitude journal you might use it as just a memory keeper or if you are a horizontal planner then it is perfect for your planning for just a list of what you need to get done that day you could always put like appointments on this side or appointments on this side and then your list on this side an equal space for every single day of the week I love the very light lines and the fonts they have chosen and how nothing is dark or harsh printed on the page. It feels just very calming and relaxing. I would personally use this as a journal or gratitude journal myself. But I also know my mom only needs a planner this size and she loves horizontal planning. So she would love something like this. So if your life fits in something like this, it is such a good quality planner. I cannot emphasize that enough. I did a video this year on affordable planners and I wish I would have had this planner to go in that video because it is affordable and yet it does not feel like that. Your holidays are noted at the bottom of your day on these horizontal spreads. And that is the flow of the planner. At the end of the month, you have a checking in for your next month. Checking in this month's goals, top priorities, I am feeling, I am grateful for. And then February, your affirmation, what are you inspired by, what's your motivation, and notes to self. And then you go into your monthly layout. That is the flow of the whole planner. At the end of this planner, this planner does come with a sticker sheet which once again, for the price, sticker sheet with gold foiling is crazy. You have some cute decorative stickers on here and also some functional stickers. And one of my favorites is gold stars that you can give yourself on a day when you need a gold star. You have five notes pages at the end with that cute little bubble motif on every single one and the light, light lines. Then you have your sticker sheet. Then you have a double-sided pocket. It's not super thick, but it is just like a thin hardstock pocket that you could stick something in for both sides. Your planner has the same print on your back end pages and then a band, which just makes it so portable. It's such a lightweight, portable, amazing planner. This would also be such a good planner for a middle school kiddo or even a high schooler, I feel like would love this planner and it would function really well for them. So if this planner interests you, definitely click down below on the Southworth website and I will have all the buying information down there. And if you have not watched my other video, this is the other Southworth planner that I reviewed. This is a vertical layout one with a little bit different color scheme throughout and just so beautiful. That will be linked down below and in that video, I also shared some of their notepads and pens, but I am so happy to be able to introduce you to this company because they make great planners at an affordable price point. Let me know all your thoughts down in the description. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care of yourselves so you can take care of others, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.